coming back by my channel. Hey, 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 if you're new, I'm Susie Q. Thanks for coming by. Uh, it's Saturday and um, the weekend's halfway over. Always seems to do that, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> it just goes by so fast. Hope you're having a great weekend wherever you are in this great big old world and um, that you've had a great week. Um, and this is just like the cherry on top. Maybe you're kicking back with a glass of wine. Um, that sounds really nice about now. So this week, while I was going through kind of my exercise plans, my fitness plans, and how I wanted to structure uh, or restructure what I was doing, um, I was considering several different options and styles, techniques, um, and I kind of came to a conclusion. I've kind of been in this space where I'm like, I want to do something new, I, I need a little bit of fresh air breathed into, or fresh life breathed into my workout, and um, I like to kind of do things that are um, not the typical workout, something that challenges the whole body, that incorporates, you know, all the different muscle groups that are focused more on strength and agility, um, things that are fun, uh, things that are unexpected. Uh, more so than sitting on a machine. Um, so I try to incorporate all kinds of different things that would allow me to do that. You've seen some of the videos I've posted um, where I just kind of like, I tend to kind of go in with an idea of what I want to do that day <laughs> and then I just kind of go with it. I go with what I'm, what I'm interested in that day, what I want to do. I mean, I do tend to focus more on, you know, like the upper body and the lower body on different days. Um, I usually will always work on abs and core to some extent. Um, it's wearing me out just thinking about it. Um, anyway, so in the regards of like trying to kind of plan out, and I know people out there are going to think this is crazy because there are a lot of good things from planning out your routine. I'm not very good at that. I'm also not very good at planning out a menu because I like to go with the flow. I like to get home and go, you know, what sounds good, have the stuff to make it, and just make it. Um, so I don't typically go by menus. I kind of have an idea of these are the kinds of things we like to eat. I can make all these different things from it, and then I go from there. Um, I am learning how to structure things a little bit better since it is important to have some structure. However, based on my personality and how I am and how I function best, um, a very rigid structured environment or schedule or plan is not always conducive to what I enjoy and if you don't enjoy what you're doing you're not going to keep it up so my insight this week was I need to focus on what I enjoy um, the reality is the same you're moving you're exercising if this is if I'm doing this for my health uh, I am not going to be going into any fitness competition, at least I don't plan to any time in the future. Um, I I'm literally just doing this for health and movement and to be strong to protect um, my body from any kind of further injuries, hopefully. So um, I am going to focus on things that I enjoy. So uh, a lot of the HIIT training I enjoy, things that um, just take my game to a different level, like doing the push-ups with a BOSU ball. I'm trying to learn how to jump rope as an adult. I don't know why that's so easy as a kid, and it's so hard as an adult, but I don't know. It's it's just doesn't, it seemed like it was a lot easier when I was younger, but uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge. So I'm working on that, on building um, the amount of time I'm able to jump rope and kind of my technique. Um, so if y'all have any feedback or suggestions, I'm all ears. Uh, so anyways, those are the kind of things I'm going to focus on. So if you are um, struggling with the same thing or maybe you are trying to get to the gym and you have no idea where the heck to start, maybe just think about what you like. I mean, so maybe you don't like the gym. Maybe you don't like weights. That's not your thing. Um, so you like to be outside, so run. Or if you like to swim, swim. If you like to dance, get in a Zumba class or, or take dance lessons. Um, if you like you know, baseball or softball, join a league and do that, you know, and so find the things that work for you, find the things that you love, that you enjoy, that you have a passion for, because those are the things that ultimately down the road long term um, are what you're really going to enjoy and be able to keep up. So anyways, I'm all about making things um, more conducive 
to life, you know, and being able to be successful long term. Obviously, if you want to build a career in uh, fitness or, you know, bodybuilding, you know, there's a whole, that's a whole other lifestyle. It's a whole other discipline and it is quite a feat. So hats off to any of you that are doing that. Um, if you're a marathon runner, again, you're going to need to run. <laughs> but if you're a marathon runner, you probably like to run um, because I, the only time I'm going to be running that long is if someone's chasing me with a dangerous weapon. So, um, yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys are great. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, but anyways, wherever you're at, uh, thank you for coming by. If you don't mind liking my video, subscribing if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? What are you doing with your life? You need to know these things. So just Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Mwah! So I decided I think I'm going to just kind of meet. Um, I've done this a few times where I've just gone pretty much vegetarian. I did still have eggs and cheese, so not totally vegetarian, but um, I love my cheese. That's not that's not going to happen. I'm going to have my cheese. Um, and uh, But during that time, like I just felt so much better, so I think I'm going to get rid of meat. 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 Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so no more meat for a while. Did you know that Raspberry flavoring, natural raspberry flavoring, is from the excretion of beaver's anal glands. Y'all can look this up. It is legit. Like, legit. I haven't had anything raspberry flavored since I found that out, which was like a year ago. So, you're welcome. If you could speak in any accent, what would it be? I guess I just feel like American accent. No offense to all my American homies out there. It's just, it's like plain. <laughs> it's boring. But I think my very favorite is like an Australian, New Zealand... South African accent, South Africa, I probably didn't say that, South Africa, Nur. I know that's like Australian, right? Nur. They say Nur. Instead of no, it's like Nur. There's like an R sound. Did y'all hear that? Nur. Can we do it again? Nur. <laughs> they're my favorite. I don't know what it is about that. I love that. Everybody loves that, the Australian, New Zealand. I mean, I'm sure they're, they, they know the difference. I can't tell the difference. They all sound beautiful. But yeah, like all the different accents are just, I love the British and English accent, um, you know. If I was going to order a cup of tea, it's not very good, but um, that's about as, as good as I can do. Oh, I wish I were better at these. Just not.